Hey teachers. You know, I think people should start calling us vocab teachers rather than ESL teachers because over 80% of the time we're just bagging and filling students with new words, like lots and lots of new words and terms. So, vocab teachers, here are some vocab games. Okay, we're gonna focus on introducing new words kind of activities. Activities that would help our precious, always forgetful students remember new words right from the beginning. Our first activity is playing a video or a song that does the introduction on behalf of you. I had a lesson about bad driving habits and instead of shoving the new vocabulary words in the students' faces, I found an amazing short video not ASL related by the way about driving habits and I challenged them to write down all the eight or nine driving habits the video is talking about and the students who got them all from the very first time they will be um I don't know they're the geniuses of the class <laughs> you can then play the video as many times as they need here they won't just get the targeted vocabulary but they will also to learn other words along the way. Back to my example, the video mentioned some car parts names and these words were like pretty useful as well. I don't know vocab teachers the lesson you're currently teaching but YouTube is full of songs and videos about literally everything so just to spare some time before class and search for something suitable. Our second activity is picking some quotations that include your new words in ask the students if they agree with the quote or not. For instance, my lesson was about common stereotypes, so I gathered some quotations related to my lesson and showed them to my students and asked them if they agree or disagree with each statement. And of course, while doing that, we had to go over some terms, the new vocabulary words, that they're gonna need to use to support their arguments. By doing so, students won't only get the words I want them to get, but also they will have to use these words like right away in their arguments and that would definitely make these words stick in their heads longer. And the best part of all that is students have no idea that I'm actually teaching them new words. They think we're debating and all I care about is whether they have a valid argument or not, while in reality, I just want Want them to meet the new words. Our third and last activity is more suitable for visual words. What we're gonna do here is add pictures of all the new words in your lesson on one paper or slide like this and put the students into pairs or groups and ask them to write down the names of the items they know and let them try to guess the names of the items they don't know. I love this way because A, it's hilarious when a student has tried to come up with names for stuff and B because we're using pictures. I love pictures. I adore pictures. I respect pictures. Like pictures are just the easiest, shortest way to explain a word sometimes. And C, it would be harder for students to forget these words because after they finish writing the names of the things, I see which pair or team got the most words and I announce them winners. I know you're thinking, oh, it's unfair since they have never heard of these words before. How come they're winners now? But it's absolutely fair because the teams who lost will pay double the attention to learn the new words they've missed. Who's the real winner now? Time to say goodbye. Thank you vocab teachers for always looking for ways to make your classes even better and more fun.